Now that you understand the basics of maps, we should write a larger program that uses them. As with sets, we're going to use the data sets for baby names. And the problem that I would like to solve here is I would like to read in every state and have the ability for the user to enter a name and then tell them what year that name was most popular in the state that they selected. So I'm going to create an app. I'm going to call it using maps. And some of the code here is going to be similar to what we had before because we already have some code here that reads in a, actually it reads in all of the, we'll just lift this and then we'll edit it. This runs through and finds all of the state file names and uh, right now it, it yields results for them. So let's call this state info and I want to be a little bit more specific so you might recall the state files look like this. So we have the state which we can generally ignore uh, because they would be all the same for that file. Maybe we can keep it. Depends upon how exactly we want to, to store things. A gender, a year, a name, and then the number of people who were given that name. So let's go ahead and let's create a case class here. Uh, how about we call it name info? And what should we store? Well, let's go with we have gender, year, name, and count gender, which will be a care, year, which will be an int, name is a string, and count is an int. And I want this to return a some form of collection of these. And I'd like to be a collection that I can quickly look things up in. Now, how do we want to store this? So the idea is I'm going to, and I want, I want a collection of these for every state so that every state produces, right now we're getting a, an array well, of nothing because I have this error in here. And it turns out that filter is just going to go away. because we're no longer filtering based upon name. So we're going to split things on the equals and right now it's converting to an array. We'll kind of decide what we want to to do there. This is actually not going to... Let's actually... Let's go ahead and let's edit some of this here. So we're going to map line rocket and what should happen for each line. We're going to split it on commas. And then I want to build a name info that takes p sub 1 sub 0. So p sub 0 would just be the state I want the gender as a character, comma, p sub 2, to int, comma, p sub 3, which is just the name. I want that as a string, p sub 4 dot to int. Okay. And I guess we could... I really don't like that name for this. Instead of calling this names here, I'd much rather have info for for these. So this is currently an iterator of these. In order to be able to keep it around, I could do two array. I could also do like two vector if I wanted this to be an immutable collection. We'll come back and we'll we'll think about a little bit more about what we want to do here, but right now this is an array of strings 
to arrays. And so this has a state code followed by our info, which is an array. Now what I want to do down here after I've loaded all of these things in is, let's see, so I'll input, and that's actually going to change to a bar, input while input is not equal to quit. Actually, nothing will happen down there. Print line, what name are you interested in? And then we'd in input a name. So val name equals read line. And to make that happy so it's not deprecated, we will import io.stdin.underscore. Okay. And now I want to look up this name in for every state. So I need to run through all the state info. And we have state and the information for that state. And we're going to pull this out of state info. And what I want to do for this is I need to look up this name in and find out which year it was the uh, it had the highest count for the given state. Now, as it's as it's encoded right now, info here is an array of name info. So I would have to go through each set and find only the names that matched. So I could potentially filter out just for the names that matched the name that was entered here. And then find the year with the maximum value on it. That's how I would do it without knowing about maps. Because I know about maps, I know that having to go through and filter everything just to get down to the names that I want is going to be inefficient. I'd really like to have, now the thing is, so if I create a map on the names, there's actually going to be multiple values that have that name. Turns out that our sequences have a, nope, so after I've converted this to an array, there's an interesting method called group by. And group by takes a function that gives us back the value that we want to group on. And it gives us back a map. So I am going to group on the names. And if you look at the type now of this, this is now a map of string to an array of these, of these name infos. So I give it a name and it will give me an array of all of the different entries that had that name. So for example, if I gave it Dorothy, it's going to give me a list of every one of these lines that has Dorothy in it. And all we want to do down here is we want to find the maximum of those. So now our info isn't that array, it's a map from string to array. Okay, and so it's very easy to look up info sub name. Okay, and that will give me back the array of name infos. So I want to find the one that had the largest value. Well, it turns out there's a really handy method called maxby. And so I want to find the one that has the maximum count there. And then I could just print line out state Something like that. How about we try this? So if I run this now, it has to read in all the data. That's still something that's going to take a little bit of time. And I want to look for my own name. And so for this should actually print out 50 lines, giving the different years when the name Mark was the most common. And it tells you how many there were. Okay, so in the state of Oklahoma, Mark was most popular in 1960, and there were 719 people born with that name. Okay, So we finished that application. The key thing that matters to us is 
the use of maps. The fact that we were able to, and in this case, we didn't necessarily build the map ourselves. We used group, group by, which gave us back a map that mapped from our keys, which in this case were strings, the names that we wanted, to collections of all of the name info that had that name. And that made it very easy to find all of the entries that had that name because we could index into the map using the name and that allowed us to then with the max by to very efficiently find the one that had the largest count for that.